mushroom clouds snake skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. I want to go back to the end of the last lecture, and you'll recall I put a little bit of copper in nitric acid, and the copper was oxidized. And it was fairly easy to see that that was, in fact, a redox process, and that the copper went into solution. And since copper becomes copper ions, you can even, if you don't know much about redox processes, um, you can see that an obvious exchange of electrons has happened here. The copper atom has lost two electrons, so there's an oxidation. Maybe it's not, not, not uh, quite so clear that the nitrate um, has actually been reduced to nitrogen dioxide, but we'll see today why that's the case. Now, I don't want you to go away thinking that these processes can only go in one direction. So when I threw copper into nitric acid, the copper got oxidized to Cu plus 2. But depending on what you're reacting it with, in this case, we're reacting it with nitrate ion, and it did get oxidized, it is, in fact, possible to reduce the copper ion back to copper metal. So I'll just do a quickie demo for you. What I've got here is a steel nail, an iron nail, um, which I've cleaned up with a bit of steel wool so that the uh, surface is nice and shiny. And in this file, I've got a little bit of uh, copper nitrate, I guess it is, and a little bit of acid as well. The acid is necessary just to make this reaction go fast. And the ions in the solution are Cu plus 2 ions, so they're already oxidized. And the other day, don't forget, we oxidized metal to um, copper ions, but it's quite possible just by contacting iron metal with copper ion in solution, I'll pull it out and show you here, to reduce the copper ions back down to copper metal. So there, I think you can see there's lots of copper metal on the head of that nail. And if you were to analyze that, you'd find that this is, in fact, copper metal. There's copper atoms lined up in the appropriate crystallographic uh, orientation, and you could prove that that's copper metal, that copper-colored stuff on the nail. Now, what's not so obvious from this is that some iron was oxidized. So again, you, have to, you can't have one without the other. In this case, we see reduction of copper metal. What's not so obvious here is that there was concomitant oxidation of iron metal, and the iron metal's gone into solution as Fe plus 2 or possibly Fe plus 3 ions. So these reactions can go both ways depending on what is reacting with what. You can oxidize things, and then you can react it with something else and reduce it back down.